you, you want to make sure that you take uh, advantage and the opportunities that are available so that you keep your doors open and you continue to service your clients. I'm just going to introduce you one more time because the record didn't quite start, but um, I'm here today with Carolina Aponte. She is with Caja Holdings. She is the president-elect of the Charlotte chapter of the National Association of Women Business Owners, and she's going to share with us about what we need to know about these new small business loans and things with the CARE Act. So what kind of stuff do you think we need to know? Well, there's quite a few things, but I think the top three things that are important for small business owners right now are number one, there is a provision under the CARES Act to give small business owners $10,000 sort of a grant to keep the doors or payroll um, going. Uh, the, that $10,000 you can quickly apply online. It's a very simple process. It takes less than 10 minutes. And if you are approved, you can get the $10,000 within a week uh, deposited into your business account so that you can continue to make payments on your, uh, on your business expenses. Um, that's one and that's fast. It's easy and it's a grant that will, you won't have to pay it back um, as long as you keep your business going, okay? Um, that is uh, what they call the, the SBA cash advance. And so it's very quick, just make sure you have your tax ID number, you have your pertinent you know, business information, uh, address, uh, just the legal aspects of the business, and then very, um, uh, a very short summary of your gross sales for the last 12 months and your cost of goods sold summary for the last 12 months, as well as your net operating expenses for 12 months. That's it. They're not asking for anything else. And do you know what they're looking for when they decide who they're going to approve for the loan? Um, they're basically looking for um, businesses that that have high operating expenses so that they can grant them the ten thousand dollars to continue to make payments you know make make sure they can pay rent right. make sure they can you know they can pick the basic you know uh, necessities of the business so that uh, the, the economy can continue to move yeah. mm -hmm. and is this already available or is this coming it is already available um, you can go online to the SBA line and we can share the links um, afterwards with everyone. Um, but you, it's, it's a very quick process and it's already available. They say it's going to take three to five days, but <laughs> with the volume of uh, requests, that might take a little longer, but it's a fast process. Okay. So that was one. What else have you got for us? The second one, and I think one of the most important ones, is the actual SBA loans that, um, that are available to small business owners who have um, under 500 employees um, because these loans will be granted by private banks backed by the SBA but you don't have to go through the same standard requirements of getting loans as you would in normal times. And so it's a faster process. Um, and if you use the money from that loan in order to pay payroll, to cover your payroll and to cover your sort of the uh, rent and the utilities, you know, just the regular bare necessities of the business, it can be forgiven. Um, and as long as you can demonstrate that you, that's what you use the money for at the end of the loan, it can be forgiven. So, and you still have six months to start paying that loan. So it does give you a, a tremendous uh, opportunity for cash flow in your business to keep the doors open. Um, that one is not available yet. It will be available starting Friday, uh, but the applications are available. You can start filling that out and having the paperwork ready so that when the doors open, you're first in line, okay? Um, so that's number two. Number three um, is there are um, a number of uh, grants uh, that they're making available 
um, and also application for um, uh, unemployment, even if you're self-employed. So for those who are, you know, independent contractors, especially, um, and, and they won't be able to receive payments from their vendors because of the situation, then they can apply to the unemployment insurance and they will be covered, which is, un this is unprecedented. It has never happened before. And so you are able to now go online and apply for those um, benefits in order to, you know, to continue to get some um, cash in the door. Um, I say those are the top three. Uh, we're still filtering through information as it comes in and we're trying to make it available so that it's easy for people to access that information. And uh, because there's the, everybody's getting inundated with emails right now. <laughs> So we're trying to make it simple and to help people out figure out what's the easiest one. But the first two are the easiest ones. Um, the application form is one page. You just have to have your business uh, financials uh, in order so that you can present them. And if you don't, just seek out help. Everybody in the accounting industry is uh, working really hard to make sure that everybody is getting the information that they need in order to apply for these loans. So can we, when we're done here, we can go back and we can post the links. I'll send out the recording um, of the video here. And who, if, if people have more questions, who should they reach out to? So the, the, right now, there, there is a lot of assistance you know, for example, for women business owners, if they reach out to the Women's Business Center of Charlotte, they have a team that's able to sort of, you know, uh, fill the calls and, and, and point them in the right direction. Um, the NAVO also has uh, a lot of information on the website with making emails and um, uh, links available for people to, you know, go through. And then on the private sector companies, you know, like Caja Holdings, my company, we have a link on our website and then we have the calendar where people can just book their appointments online to have a 15 minute phone call. Uh, to figure out exactly what it is that they need help with. And then we can, you know, uh, try to uh, make it as quickly as possible so that they can get the, the uh, applications uh, in place. I would do, I, I do have to say something. Be careful because there's a lot of scammers out there. So if somebody's trying to charge you $2,500 to go, go through this application, don't pay it. It's not necessary. This, this is not the time for that. And the process is just very simple. So you shouldn't have to pay for that. And can, can people apply for more than one loan or do you have to be careful about which one you pick? Yeah, you have to be careful because you can't do double dipping, right? So if you do one thing, you can't do the other one at all of a sudden, oh, I'm going to get money from all these different sources. So if, if, if you have staff and you have large payroll you need to go through the sba loan process so that you can get that uh it's two and a half times the payroll the monthly payroll that you have so that you can get those funds quickly available so that you can continue to have your payroll on staff if you're a smaller business owner and you don't necessarily have a big staff and you don't have those kinds of um, you know, cash flow um, needs, then take the grant, the $10,000 that are available so that you can keep the doors open. So just be conscientious about what you're doing so that you don't hurt yourself in the process. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. This is crazy times and it's hard to know what to do. And, you know, um, we're all trying to adapt and change and, and find a new normal. Um, and, but it, it is confusing. And so we really do appreciate your taking the time to help us figure this out. Absolutely. All right. And be healthy. <laughs>